Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. 400 videos still going. Why is this bloody Lex Moto XRT125 still in my garage? Well, it's been driving me mad. Carburetor, 4T tuning. Now, on the carb I'm working with today, the adjustment is underneath the bottom, okay? There's no way of getting to it, as I showed you in my last video. Now, as in my other carburetor video, two T's, which I love working on, are really, really quite easy. And they are one and a half turns out and adjustment, and you can still adjust it while it's on the bike. 4T tuning is a little bit harder. Every time I have to do this, seat off, tank off, airbox out, carburetor off, adjust and put it all back on again it's drive me mad i must have done this about 10 times now no joking it is driving me mad carburetor i've had it off now as i said six half turns i've got this at nine yet yeah, nine half turns which is mental but i do believe with this exhaust on here it's much much bigger the gauge on here is so big i think it really is causing problems with the carburetor and as i said i can't tell if you're not jetted or not so this is my test rig Fuel in and pouring it in from this lovely clean jar, and that is lovely clean petrol by the way. But remember the air vacuum, seal it off, otherwise you're going to be sucking air from there. So make sure it's sealed off, and I've used a nice little cup to hold the petrol as well. Can't stress enough about not smoking and sparking wires and so on. Now as you know, normally I run it for jump pack. I'll put it back on the battery, there's no chance of any sparks anywhere. So do be careful, it's petrol, it's flammable, Doors open, just be careful. Anyway, where am I now? Well, nine and a half turns out. I've got the side off still. Keep checking the plug. I had it running, start first time every time, next morning wouldn't start. Every time I took the plug out, it was absolutely black, fit soot black. Couldn't get any more description than just saying it was not nice. And the plug is supposed to be a nice coffee white color. This wasn't, so I know it's running too rich. I've messed around with this, I've tried taking the filter out of here rather than having to take on and off, it's not working. So I've got the original filter back in here. I've got this nine half turns out. So you just can't get to it. And there's nowhere getting under here to it either. On some pit bikes, you can get these extension ones, you can actually turn them. Even with this, I don't think I can get in there because the starter motor sits just underneath it. Poor cheap design, I don't know. But this is only 6,000 miles on the clock. Because it's been messed with, that's probably what's causing me all the problems here. Anyway, this is day whatever. Gonna start it, and you'll see what I'm saying about the revs. Now, on this one as well, when you run it without lights, the revs are slightly higher, put the lights on, it's slightly lower. It's natural, I guess, but you still have to run it with the lights on and get it tuned in that way. Power on. <laughs> With you it still smells a little bit rich but I need to run it some more and then I'm gonna check the plug the plug's still black I need to take it out some more it's only a certain amount I think I can get that screw out before it actually comes out can't not have it in there if I can get it out as far as possible I may even have to put a little few holes in the air box but I need to get this to run a lot lot leaner I'm gonna get to the stage where I can only adjust this so much and try and get as much air in there as possible well, I'm going to may even have to look at buying another carburetor, which is mental, I know. But there's no sense, otherwise, if it goes out this way, someone's going to run it, first trip, next morning won't start, and you can't keep taking the plug out of this and cleaning it. And again, it's not even a case of simply getting to the plug, you have to have this side bit off. So it's four or five screws to get it off, I know. And the plug's in there. And it's not your standard size either, it's 18 mil. So I'm having to use an 18 mil long reach, rather than normal two that normal plugs would use. Of course, it's really hard to tighten up as well. And due to where the frame goes down, you can't get a socket on it or a spanner on it, so I'm having to use a pair of mole grips and then push it on and tighten it that way. I was, it was loose, and of course, then I was venting gases everywhere, which is not good. So it's a case of, again, starting it, is the 
the idle adjustment. So again, you have to pull this panel out, squeeze the screwdriver in. Try and get it through this little bit here and try and tighten and loosen it up. The whole design for basic maintenance is not brilliant, not easy to get to, and a bit annoying if I have to keep doing this. Remember to keep the petrol topped up in the funnel though. If that ran low, and the pipe then would suck in air and the revs would go right up, it's going to mess you around. So you need to block off the air pipe and make sure you can rig up a little test pipe in theory. It's a bottle, but I think this works quite well. There's no leaking here. Petrol in, there's the air, tap round. So I've had it running for a little while. We'll have a quick look at the plug. Mole grips and a uh, socket. Just remember this could be quite hot if you've had it running a long time, so don't burn your fingies. That is not the colour that I'm after, so it's still rich. It's not as black as it was, but that is still very dark. I reckon maybe another half turn out, I might just get away with that. Right, carburetor off. Airbox off, undo, carburetor off, half turn out. I that mean that 10 half turns, five full turns out. That's a lot of adjustment. Do you know what? I actually went online to see if I was really that daft and not understanding what to do with this bloody carburetor. I thought there must be an easier way of tuning it or, you know, getting it in there. And there's about a couple of four videos that have had loads of views. And all you see him go is, it is not working, now it is working, haven't I done well? And I think he didn't show bugger all. And then the guy says if you take it out you get more fuel in. No, you get more air in, tighten up more fuel. Anyway, up, and there it is. That little bugger there. Anyway, let's take it at another half turn. Oh, I always, don't ask why, but I always go all the way in. Don't ever overturn it. Just it stops and then go back out again. Just checking, okay, that it's that far out. It won't fall out. I'm going to pull it out a whole turn so it's now at ten and a half turns and standard six that's just I don't know I don't know it's not sucking in anywhere else either so ten turns out it is still stable it shouldn't fall out while riding along let's put it all back on again and see what it does now one little tip every time you take the air out you're gonna have to adjust the revs up okay so more air higher revs Less air, lower revs, all right? That's how it works. So in preparation to this, I'm gonna actually up the revs. But with a longer screwdriver. Here's what I made earlier. So, up the revs. Test rig back in, top up with fuel. And yeah, I know it's not clever having it near electrics and everything else, but there's no other way of doing this to keep it vented. No sparks, no fag. Right, airbox back on. May have been easy actually having a cane on here. Maybe that's what you should have designed it for, I guess. Something like this great big stage six one on here probably would have been a blessing, but I don't like them. Original airbox. Yeah, maybe it should have been a better idea. Massive. If you remember watching my other videos, this was on a 50cc. <laughs> right, airbox fuel in, power on. So she does. Remember to put plug back in. It's a bit draconian, but it works. Right, plugs in this time. Fuel, air trapped off, air box on, power on. Just putting the lights on dropped it a thousand webs. Wow. 
that is pretty good ticking over. Now, let's smell the fumes. That's not taking well. Alright, it's fumes still. I thought it was really taking my breath away how strong that was. Leave it running for a little while, we'll check the blood. Right, that seems to be it. It's definitely running a lot better and ticking on, on its own steam. I'll check the plug, and if that's a nice colour, I'm going to put it all back together again, take it for a ride. Even when it was running really rich, it did run well. So, having more air in there may be a little bit more weaker, but you know what? It's what you need a bike to start and stop. So, as I finished there, even when I put all the panels back on and start again, I've got to wait till tomorrow morning to see when it starts. Because when I put choke on, it was dying really badly and wouldn't start. So, end for you. And if it's not right, another half turn out or it'll be a new carburetor. Hopefully that's explained how to tune in 4T carburetors to the best I can show you anyway. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep watching my videos. Take care of yourselves on the road.